A local nonprofit is helping Iowans launch successful careers instead of having to work and live paycheck to paycheck. And get this, they're doing it all with free training. So it is my pleasure to be joined by Bradford Johnson. He's with Change Course. So this is a relatively new organization that your dad actually started. Yeah, yeah, we started, uh, we just celebrated a year um, from our 501c3. Um, and so um, he, he, when I was 10, he, he got out of prison um, for some stuff that he had done and really just decided to change his life. And he, we ha he had such a great um, group of people surrounding him um, to help rehabilitate him and get him back in, into a career um, so he could support our family. But what he realized is when he got out of prison, a lot of the people that he was in with didn't have that, those opportunities. So they would get out and they would start selling drugs again or they would start, they would have to go back to a life of crime in order to make ends meet. And he really, he always had a dream for the last 25 years to, to really just build something that would create an environment and a, and a community like, like he had right after prison when he was fixing his life. And he had that support here in Des Moines, is yeah. that right? Yep, he did. And then went on to have a very successful professional career. Yeah, and he was able to give opportunities to people that were coming out of the same type of situation. Mm -hmm. And so he, that, that continued his, his heart for people that were struggling with, uh, whether it was incarceration um, or, or poverty of mm -hmm. any kind. Um, and then, and then I, in, in the meantime, uh, I'm a recovering drug addict, and so I was working with people in, in that, in the, with those issues mm -hmm. up, in, up, up north, and he had, he had been trying to recruit me to kind of help with that, that side of the, the program, and you know, the stars aligned, and it, it worked out perfectly, so I moved down uh, about three or four months ago, and we just, we've just been hitting the ground running, and it's, it's been crazy. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. So you were saying he retired from his career and then decides to start a yeah. nonprofit. He's masochistic. Yeah, so sure. much for retirement. <laughs> right. So give us specifics about what the program does for people. A lot of it is job training, right? Yeah. So it's a, it's, we, we have, um, it's a six-month program. Um, the first six weeks is personal development, which we focus on things like um, we, you know, we have them take their Enneagrams. We have them um, work, on thing, work on things to kind of show them who they are, wow. understand skills that they've had that they, they, were never, they never learned about. The, um, we were empowering this dignity and this, the, these skills that they had that they didn't realize existed inside of them. So that's probably what we're finding is the most powerful part of the process. Mm -hmm. After they get done with that, we work with local organizations um, to get them training through DMACC. Um, uh, Broadlawns has been a great partner of ours. Nice. So apprenticeships with um, with local professional organizations that can help train them in order to get them um, a, a career in the career track that they choose in that first six weeks. And tapping into those innate gifts and talents yeah, that they have. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. So um, in in the big world of nonprofits and service organizations, you guys are still kind of in your infancy. Oh yeah. But what sorts of feedback are you getting from people who are going through the program? I mean, we're, we're already starting. We started, our, 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 our goal was like 10, 10 people in the beginning. We, yeah. we ended up with 18, and through the whole process, we're, we're at 13 very strong candidates that just have decided to continue with us. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not, it's not a, it's not a low-key thing. It's, a, it's an intensive process that we're trying to figure, help them figure out who they are and so they can f get careers. So we've got uh, 13, um, we call them leaders in our program. Um, and so far, I think f at least four of them are either have apprenticeships um, or, or jobs. And um, most of the rest of them are, in, are going to DMAC right now to pursue their career. They're on that track. Career paths, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So if people are watching this and they're thinking, I know people who should get involved in yeah. this, either volunteering or going through the program, how can they get in touch with you guys? Uh, you can go to our website, uh, change-course.org, mm -hmm. um, and right at the top, it, there, should be a, there should be a yellow button that says, um, I'm interested, click that, fill it out, and that will send it right to us, and then we'll call for a for a phone interview and kind of, and see what, what we can do for you. Okay, love it. Look forward to having the opportunity sometime to meet some of the people who've gone through this. It sounds like yeah. great success stories. Graduation is in May, mm -hmm. uh, and then we gear up for the next class uh, that starts in um, that starts in July. So uh, okay. it's, it's, it's nonstop, but we love it. We're hoping for 50 participants uh, in the next class, and uh, yeah. It's, it's, we're having a good time. Okay, we'll help you spread the word. Thank you. Thanks, Bradford. Janae, we'll send it back over to you.